Uh, there are certain types of injuries that are obviously life changing. That does not mean, however, they have to be life ending. Treating spinal cord injuries is just one of the many specialties at Ohio Health Rehabilitation Hospital. I'm Dr. Lisa Lombard, the medical director of the hospital here with me today. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Well, in the past, we've talked about kind of the care you offer. We talked about stroke recovery, which is another thing that you do. Today, looking at spinal cord injuries specifically. And so you specialize there at the hospital in physical medicine and rehabilitation. Yes. So what kind of patients are we talking about that fall under that category? Well, the field of physical medicine and rehabilitation, or PM&R as some people call it shortly, um, is a very broad field. We can take care of pediatric patients that might have cerebral palsy. We can take care of geriatric patients that might have had strokes, people with sports injuries, pain management. We also do things like brain injury re rehabilitation and spinal cord injury rehabilitation as well. So what is the role of the rehab specialist when it comes to a spinal cord injury? Because we know that can be a very difficult thing to, to treat, to come back from, right? So what do yeah. they do? Absolutely. Well, the spinal cord injury unfortunately affects just about every single body, body system. It affects the lungs, the heart, the bowels, the bladder, the skin sensation. So many different things can be affected. And so it's really important that somebody see a specialist in, in spinal cord injury medicine so they can address all of these issues and make sure that the patient is getting true holistic care. So I imagine that also, you know, when they don't have full use of their limbs, that can be a devastating kind of a, a hopeless feeling for a lot of those patients. So how do you and your team help them not only physically but mentally? Because I imagine that would be a big part of that recovery. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it is devastating to patients when they have these kinds of injuries because their life is going to be completely changed. But the important thing that we do is we give them hope. We let them know that we, we can make them as independent as possible through the specialist care that we have. Uh, you know, especially you see things like the Paralympic Games. You see that very high level athletes who are disabled, but they've really been able to overcome a lot and compete in internationally. So it's so always great to see those kinds of things occur and really just telling patients we are going to try to get them back to what they were doing before. It might be different, but would get them back to their functional level. And what are some of the programs that you guys do? I know support groups, probably one of the big aspects yes. of it, right? Yes, we have an active support group, and it's so important for persons when they've had spinal cord injuries to be able to talk to somebody who's been through it, like, you know, been through the same things they've been through. And they might have special ways of getting around things. Sure. Uh, uh, you know, some examples of equipment that works well for them, things like that. And we also have a peer education program, too, so we can bring somebody who's had a similar injury to the person with the spinal cord injury and bring them to the hospital and give, you know, let them know things are not over. There's, you know, there's many things that can be done with them. There, there's lots of independence they can have and those kinds of things. And we know when it comes to having an injury, it's not just the patient that's going to feel it. It's everybody around them. It's their family unit. So how do you guys involve them in the care plan? Well, it's essential to have the family integrated into the care at the hospital from the beginning. So they can learn about the patient's, the, the person's new condition. They can help them out as best they can. Of course, they're always great as cheerleaders for them as well. Sure, yeah. Uh, you know, to have, uh, to have your family and loved ones uh, supporting you throughout the whole process. And then in the recovery, how do you make it so it's kind of a, a seamless transition, and, and maybe that's a, a big word for it, but when they come from the hospital and hopefully go back home, how do you make it so that the family doesn't feel overwhelmed? Well, for example, at our, at our facility at Ohio Health Rehab Hospital, we have a very well integrated program with our therapists. We are constantly assessing the patient's home situation, their vocational needs, their functional needs, the family that's able to support them. And so we were able to look 360 degrees around the patient and make sure that that transition to home is we anticipate everything we possibly can and get them on their way. What advice would you give maybe out there to, to a patient, to a family member who's dealing with a spinal cord injury? Well, I think the most important thing is become educated, um, learning about the condition. There's a lot of good resources on, online. There's the Paralyzed Veterans of America. There's the Christopher Reeve Foundation, all of which provide great information for patients. And then also making sure that they're seeing the right specialists. You want to go to a program that has an expertise in spinal cord injury so make sure we get the most out of functional status and also evaluate their medical needs as, be as best as we can. Okay, at the Ohio Health Rehabilitation Hospital, I want to thank you so much, Doctor, for being with thank me. Thank you.